Every day, we travel. From the moment we wake up, we travel from our bedroom to the toilet room. Then, we go to the kitchen to prepare our breakfast. After that, we go to the living room to drink our cup of coffee. Quite simple. Location routine, right? But, don't you think that there's a shortest path between the places we travel? In a real-life situation, graph theory could solve it. All of us would never forget how fun our elementary days, isn't it? It was the time we built our childhood memories with friends and classmates. Here in Malolos, Bulacan, there are lots of elementary schools. In our research, we picked 20 elementary schools to find out what is the shortest path from one school to the other. To possibly find it, Graph Theory made it easier by the help of Dijkstra's algorithm. To explore, let us first discuss the basic information to understand the whole research. Graph Theory is the study of graphs, which are mathematical structures used to model pairwise relations between objects. It was discovered on 1736 by a Swiss mathematician named Leonard Euler. The Seven Bridges of Konigsberg, which he published, was the first paper in graph theory. To begin, graph is an ordered pair denoted as G equals the quantity of V, E, that consists of a non-empty set of objects called vertices or nodes, which are represented by the letter V, and a set consisting of two elements subsets of V called edges, which are represented by letter E. In our research, every elementary school is a vertex and each road connecting them is an edge. In total, we have 20 A to T vertices and 45 edges. Here is the list of all vertices represented by a letter. A. Look First Elementary School B. Bulihan Elementary School C. Katmon Elementary School D. Sumapa Elementary School E. Kaingin Elementary School F. Kanalate Elementary School G. Malolos Adventist Elementary School H. City of Malolos Integrated School I. Atlag Elementary School J. Kanyogan Elementary School K. Mabolo Elementary School L. Dakila Elementary School M. Ligas Elementary School N. San Pablo Elementary School O. Tikay Elementary School P. Santor Elementary School Q. Look Second Elementary School R. Bangkal Elementary School S. Balite Elementary School and D. Mambog Elementary School In graph theory, there are fundamental concepts, one of which is connectivity. For a non-empty graph G, two vertices U and V are said to be connected if there is a path in G. If this happens, we can say that U is connected to V. Reminder, adjacent vertices are connected but connected vertices don't need to be adjacent. A graph is connected if every pair of vertices in G is connected. Our graph for the elementary schools in Malolos, Bulacan is considered as a connected graph because every pair of vertices which are A to T are connected by a path. In real life shortest path problems, edges are considered to be roads while vertices are locations. In calculating the shortest path, we need data. This data will be from the weighted graph. Weighted graphs are graphs which edges are labeled by numbers. The weighted of each edge is often called the cost of the traversing that edge or the minimum time to travel. Given a weighted graph, it could figure out the shortest path between two nodes. The shortest path problem means finding a path between two vertices in a graph that has the smallest total sum of edge weights. Out of all the possible paths, the shortest path is the one which optimizes the cost of traveling the road, which is the cheapest route, or the time taken to travel the road, which is the quickest route from initial vertex to final vertex. From our given weighted connected graph, if we would find paths from A to T, then we could find finite numbers of paths. However, for us to easily find the shortest path from A to T, then we will need the help of Dijkstra's algorithm. 
One way to solve the shortest path problem is by the use of Dijkstra's algorithm. Dijkstra's algorithm was discovered and named after Dr. Edsger Dijkstra in 1959. He was a Dutch computer scientist, software engineer, programmer, system scientist, and a pioneer in computer science. Dijkstra's algorithm is an algorithm that solved the single source shortest path problem for a directed and undirected graph that has non-negative edge weight. In doing the Dijkstra's algorithm, here is a simple flowchart that will guide all of us in the steps until we find the shortest path. First, we will identify our initial vertex, which is represented as V sub S, and the final vertex, which is the V sub N. Second, we will permanently label the initial vertex as zero, the temporary vertex as infinity, and I will be zero. Then, we will look for all the adjacent vertices of the initial vertex. For all of the vertices in the graph, we will follow the formula as the temporary value of V sub i equals the minimum value of the ordered pair of temporary value of V sub j and permanent value of V sub j plus weight of the ordered pair of V sub i and V sub j. After executing the formula, we will establish the permanent label of V sub i as the minimum value of the temporary value of j. Then we will add 1 to i. If i is less than the absolute value of v minus 1, then the algorithm is now done and we could now trace the shortest path. However, if it is still greater than the absolute value of v minus 1, then we will still repeat the steps until the condition is met. If we will solve the shortest path from Look First Elementary School, which is Vertex A, to Mambog Elementary School, which is Vertex T, by using the table format of the Dijkstra's algorithm, then here how it goes. We will start in Vertex A, which will first permanently label Vertex as 0. Then, we will find all adjacent vertices of A, which are B, D, and M. We will add the permanent label of A, which is 0, to the weight of each adjacent vertices. B will be 0 plus 8 equals 8, D will be 0 plus 9 equals 9, and M will be 0 plus 13 equals 13. These new values will be temporary values. Other vertices that are not included in the computation will be labeled as infinity. Then. We will pick the minimum value to be the next permanently labeled vertex. In this case, B is the second permanently labeled vertex as A. Let us bring down to the second row all values from the first row except the permanent value. Again, repeat the steps. From the graph, we will look again for all of the adjacent vertices of B, which are C, D, and E. We will add the permanent label of B, which is 8 to the weight of each adjacent vertices. C will be 8 plus 3 equals 11. D will be 8 plus 4 equals 12. And E will be 8 plus 4 equals 12. In this case, letter D has its second value from the first iteration a while ago. Since the first iteration has a smaller value, then we will not replace it. Other vertices that are not included in the computation will be labeled as infinity. Then we will pick the minimum value to be the next permanently labeled vertex. In this case, letter D is the third permanently labeled vertex which is 9. We will repeat the steps until all condition from the algorithm is met. Since we have 20 vertices that represent elementary schools in Malolos, Bulacan, and 45 edges that represents roads, it might take some time to discuss the step-by-step -step procedure of the algorithm. However, from our manual computation, the shortest path could be solved after 20 iteration. Based from the algorithm, the path from Look First Elementary School, which is Vertex A, to Sumapa Elementary School, which is Vertex D, 
then to Daquila Elementary School, which is Vertex L, then to San Pablo Elementary School, which is Vertex N, then to Bangkal Elementary School, which is Vertex R, and lastly, to Mambog Elementary School, which is Vertex T, is the shortest path. It is represented as A to D to L to N to R to T which is mathematically equivalent as 9 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4 equals 25. By using Dijkstra's algorithm, the shortest path from Luok First Elementary School, which is Vertex A, to Mambog Elementary School, which is Vertex T, has been solved. A friendly reminder, the Dijkstra's algorithm also gives the shortest path from Vertex A, which is Luok First Elementary School's to any of the other vertices. However, it will be another use of the algorithm if the initial vertex will change. For example, if the initial vertex will be Katmon Elementary School, which is vertex C, we will need to repeat again the steps of the Dijkstra's algorithm to know the shortest path from vertex C to any of the vertices. The Dijkstra's algorithm is widely used in real life by Google Maps. Google Maps, which has over a billion monthly active users, was created in 2005 as a desktop solution to assist people go from point A to point B. Google Maps displays points of interest, directions, traffic, public transportation data, routes, and photos of locations. It's critical to find the shortest path in the most efficient direction. Using Dijkstra's shortest path algorithm will be the key for finding the easiest and most convenient way to travel. The usage of Google Maps is a way to identify graphs in finding the shortest path. By applying this algorithm in the real world, traveling from different destinations would not only save time but also energy and fuel. The solution using the table format has shown the shortest routes to every school from Look First Elementary School. Based on the solution of Dijkstra's algorithm, the shortest path to take is 25 kilometers from Look First Elementary School to Mambog Elementary School. It has solved the problem of finding the shortest path that has also the same route taken in Google Maps. In conclusion, it was proven that Dijkstra's algorithm can be applied and is used in Google Maps in solving real life's shortest path problem. On behalf of our group Graphaholics, we would like to thank you for listening and watching our video presentation. We hope you learn. Thank you so much.